King Hyperion has declared war on all of humanity. I will end the reign of the gods. If there is one human who could lead them against Hyperion, it would be Theseus. He does not fear danger. He fears only the failure to defend his freedom. most interesting things about the world of the immortals is in fact this world this fictional world that's been created um, having said that can you tell me a bit about your character I play Phaedra the Oracle priestess who can see the future and um, my purpose in this film is to in immortals is to um, let Henry's character Theseus know that he has he has a mission to fulfill and that is to defend uh, mankind against evil King Hyperion. And you also have sort of guardians that sort of surround you as well. I, I do, and they're my sisters. They are, we, because they're kind of all uh, protecting me in a way by pretending to be me at one point in time. And and um, I guess the, uh, their role in this film is very important because they make a very big sacrifice for uh, the future of mankind, right. you know, by let, setting me free. Um, yeah, it was nice to have girls on set. I know, <laughs> I like that, and a bunch of them all together. Yeah, and very, very fierce girls. And yeah. very fierce girls, because yeah. you guys get to fight too. Yeah, I like that. They, they fight, I don't fight. I pray while they're fighting. They've given me vision. I cannot change the future. You can. That's true. Okay, <laughs> good correction. And you start off as sort of um, a despot and a thief, and you have definitely your own um, agenda, but then your character definitely comes around and sort of becomes loyal to the cause. Yeah, I mean, I think he just, you know, at first it's like, whoa, who's this beautiful woman that I'm having to sit next to right now? And um, because I don't think Stavros is used to seeing a woman like Frida Pinto walk into a slave train. But um, I think, yeah, it's initial attraction. He's kind of your everyman. He says what he feels. He's kind of the only one in the movie that kind of doesn't have a filter, kind of has a pep to him. Um, but I think at a certain point he realizes, you know, this king's pretty pretty badass and we need to, they're gonna need all the help they're gonna get and I don't wanna die alone. team up with uh, I think there is a bond that's created between me and Theseus and for the for the Phaedra vision and it starts being less about all right I realize I'm not gonna get this girl you know the younger guy got him you know got her and uh, and basically he ultimately helps out now there are some beautiful beautiful battle scenes in this film I'm a girl I normally don't like it yeah. but because of the way that it was shot even as gory as it was because you're seeing you know bodies split in half it was still beautiful to watch. Can you talk to me a bit about the battle scenes and kind of getting fit for them as well? Because I know that was a big yeah. deal for them. Yeah, the physicality was a big thing. And, um, you know, I don't do as much battle stuff as, as Theseus or, or some of the gods do, but there was an incredible stunt team we had. And I think, obviously, Tarsem and Brendan, our DP, and, again, this kind of poetry as he's kind of, um, you know, probably going really brutal with the violence probably is why certain women are coming in and really liking this movie. It's pretty cool. Because I've I seen agree. the finished, I haven't seen the finished film, but right. to me it feels like our core, our core audience is the young male audience, right? right? But it seems like women are really digging this thing, like too. They are, they are. Actually. They are. Every, every yeah. scene Tarsem's a painter. Frame. I mean, he painted a huge yeah. canvas here, yeah. and it's like, uh, you know, it's different. But you speak of women. I, I can't get away without asking. You have this beautiful love scene with Henry, who I'm deeming Mr. Yum. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I thought was, did you have a body double? And the second is, um, are you comfortable with on-screen nudity? Um, the body double was actually Char Sam's idea. I did have a body double. Um, he just told me that my first day on set would be, would be shooting the love scene, and that itself was uncomfortable mm -hmm. because um, I hardly even got to meet Henry before that. And well, he's a lovely guy, but I really didn't get to spend any time with him. So I was like, this is really awkward. Um, uh, but Char Sam already had it all planned out. He said, I'd come on, come on set, do my love scene, then they'd shoot the body double bits, and that would be the end of the scene. And I was like, okay, fine, pressure off, you know. Right. Um, would I? I'm not too sure. I, it's kind of a very tricky thing. I don't know why. I mean, I have my ideas about nudity, and Sam did a very, I mean, it was very tastefully shot, so I'm Agreed. not very sure about 
Um, but I'm still not very sure whether it'd be a yes or a no. For now, it'd be a no. <laughs> Thank you so much.